Hi guys, Michelle here. Welcome back to my channel. And as you see in the description below, today is going to be a story time about when Tyreek got hit by a car. So I kind of wish he was here to give his side of it, and not his side because everything's the same, but his version of it, because our schedules are so different when he's at work, I'm home. When I'm home, he's at work. So anyway, you get my point of view. His was different, of course, because he was the one that got hit. So anyway, about maybe 2012, I believe, or 2013, because he was in seventh grade, and Tyreek likes to skateboard, right? So he didn't want me to drop him off to school. A lot of mornings he wanted to skate. And for some particular reason, I was home this day. So he skated to school. I guess I had dropped the girls off. I don't know why, maybe because the way things happen, but I remember exactly what I was doing. I was at home, I had the TV on. I don't remember what was on, but I was folding clothes, towels to be exact. And so I get a text from Tyreek and I used to always tell them, don't text me when you're in class because you're supposed to be in class doing your classwork, not texting me or your friends or on social media or whatever like that. So anyway, I get a text from him and it was very vague and it just said, mom, I got hit. And I'm looking at the text and I'm waiting for him to respond with more. Panic starts setting in and my heart starts beating really fast and I'm like, okay, so I texted him and I'm like, what do you mean you got hit? Did you get hit by a car? Did someone physically hit you? Did you get jumped? I mean, all these things are going through my head. And I'm texting him like, come on, text me back. You know, what's going on? What's going on? I'm like, well, duh, he's in class. He probably just texted me really quick and put his phone away. So me being me, I got in my car and I went up to the school and I didn't care how I looked by saying this, but I told him, I said, you know what, this is gonna sound so strange, but I got a weird text from my son. Yes, I know he's not supposed to be texting in class, but I need to see him. It took like five minutes for them to go find him and for him to come to the front office. And I tell you that five minutes might as well have been three hours. It just felt so long. So I'm sitting there waiting and I'm just like tapping my foot. I'm just, you know, fidgeting and, you know, couldn't sit down, just pacing back and forth all in five minutes, right? So here he comes and he's limping. And I'm like, what the heck happened? He's like, mom, I got hit by a car. And I'm like, and I didn't get a phone call and you came to school? He told me the story really quick at that point, which I'll elaborate on in a second. But he said, mom, yeah, I was crossing the street and this car came out of nowhere and hit me. And I said, did you fly? Did you break anything? What? I'm panicking because I see him limping. And then I told the front desk what was going on. I got him out of school and I took him to the emergency room. On the way to Kaiser, he told me, he said, mom, I was crossing the street and this car, this white car stopped. She seen me and he went ahead and went across the street, but this car came anyway, and it wasn't going very fast, and it hit him. He didn't fly, he didn't, you know, of course, it knocked the wind out of him, and it knocked him off his skateboard, and he said he fell, I guess, like this. He had scratches and bruises on his hands. He said the lady got out the car. She said, are you okay? And I guess, I don't know what was going on in his mind, maybe, he was like, oh, I'm okay, you know, no big deal. You know, let me go on and go to school. Um, I'm gonna get in trouble because I got hit by, I don't know what was going on in his mind at that moment. I don't know what was going on in that lady's mind at that moment because pretty much after she seen he was okay, she got in her car and drove away. No, if that was me, which I don't wanna hit anyone, let alone someone's baby, right? If that was me, I'd have been like, okay, you may not know me, I'm a stranger, okay, whatever. What school do you go to? Let me call the school, let me call your parent. You know, get them on the phone, let them decide what should happen at this point. No, she just gets in her car and drives away. And so my son skated to school and I guess adrenaline was going and at that moment, nothing was hurting until I guess he got in class and started calming down and then he started hurting and then that's when he texted me. So he's telling me this on the way to the emergency room. So we get to the emergency room and I told him what was going on. The doctor told us we need to go back to the school and talk to the school about this because we have to file a police report. His foot was hurting and I guess his leg and his hip. So they took x-rays and he fractured a few bones in his foot. So yes, yeah, she hit him enough to where he broke bones, which she should have stayed there. They had like one of those temporary casts and then he 
he got, I think, Tylenol with codeine for the pain. Once we got to Kaiser, that's when he started really getting sore. Sometimes when you're in accidents, you may not feel anything right away, it comes later. And so this definitely came later. So we're finishing up at the hospital, he got the temporary cast on, and I think the next day or two days later, a week, I don't know, I don't remember that part, but we had to go back for the like the actual cast. He was in the cast for six weeks. So he had his crutches, he had his um, temporary cast on, and I went back to his school. I told the principal, and they actually had to call the police in because they said it's basically a hit and run. So Tariq had to give a description of the car. All he, of course he's not gonna think about getting a license plate. He said it was a lady with blonde hair and a white Prius. And if you guys know those hybrid cars, you cannot hear them. The police was taking the report and they were saying, okay, yeah, we're gonna search for the car or whatever. But that day when I left the school, I was so heated and so mad and upset, I'm like, how could this lady do that? Give me a phone call, let me know, let me meet you where you are, let me assess the situation. The situation. Yes, I would have still taken him to the doctor, but you don't just hit a kid, say, oh, you're good, go to school. No, that's not okay. I canvassed my neighborhood, looking up and down, looking in driveways, looking for a white Prius, cause Tyke's gonna come with me, and I'm gonna find this lady, and I'm gonna beat her. And I thank God, you know, you guys, I'm not a fighter. I, I'm not like that, but at that moment, if I would have seen that lady, I'd probably been in jail, which probably wouldn't have been good, you know, at all. But you don't hit someone's baby and leave, you know? That's not okay. For weeks, I would just look, for, especially the day that it happened, I would just look for this car, and that lady actually better be thankful I never found her because I was so livid and upset, and yeah, the situation probably would have escalated to something more, but we never seen her again. Maybe she was just driving through the neighborhood. Maybe she doesn't even live in this neighborhood. I don't know. He was in his cast for six weeks. This kid has broken so many bones. He used to play football. I don't know if I told you guys that. He was a halfback, quarterback, I don't know. But one game, um, I guess he broke a couple bones in his finger and he kept playing. And we didn't find out till the next time that he had an injury that he had old broken bones. So yeah, that's another story. Anyway, you guys, that's my point of view on how Tyreek, you know, got hit by a car. And I just thank God that it did not end up being worse because I've heard some stories and even seen some story times where, you know, the person has seen their kid getting hit, seen their kid fly in the air and hit the ground. And I cannot imagine, I mean, I know the, torment I went through just in that little time when he told me I got hit and basically that's it. I know how my heart dropped. I know how I felt. I cannot imagine seeing, you know, it. I wasn't there when it happened because I'm telling you, I don't know. Anyway, things happen for a reason, but I'm thankful it didn't end up any worse and I'm thankful he's alive. I'm thankful the lady wasn't doing like 40 miles an hour. From what he said, she was not going very fast. She just turned the corner and hit him but it's still a car, so no matter what, you're gonna get hurt. So yeah, that's the story, my version, or my point of view of when Tariq got hit by a car. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please do me a favor before you leave, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.